What is going on to all my movie fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new movie review and today we're discussing the new romantic comedy starring Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson in Marry Me which by the time this video out will be available to see in theaters as well as streaming on Peacock. Now is this rom-com worth checking out? Well we're going to break it all down here in this spoiler free review but before we do so make sure you're checking me out on all my other social media accounts. If you all are new to the channel we are on the quest to 20,000 subscribers so if you want to be a part of this awesome community, make sure you're subscribed and you're hitting that notification bell. And as you can see on the screen now, if you enjoyed this review, well, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also share it. But more importantly, once you've seen the film, what'd you think about it? Let's talk about your pros, your cons, your favorite song from the soundtrack, your favorite moments. Did you enjoy the film? Did you not like the film? And let's talk some rom-coms. What are some of your favorite rom-coms that you have seen? Let's talk about that in the comments section. So, hey, this has been the week at Movie Files to talk about romantic films, dramas, as well as rom-coms. Earlier this week, I reviewed The Worst Person in the World, which is more of a kind of a, a drama with a little bit of comedy. And then just the other day, I put out my review for I Want You Back on Amazon Prime. Now, one of those movies I really love. The other one I really enjoyed. You'll have to see my review to see which one falls in one of those categories. Can I go three for three this week? Well, let's get into Marry Me, which first and foremost, when I saw this trailer a couple months ago, I'm like, this seems kind of unbelievable, the premise here, which if you all aren't too familiar with it, you have Jennifer Lopez, who plays Kat, who's this international singer, which, let's be honest, this wasn't too far-fetched for J-Lo, because she is an international star in real life, but putting that aside, she is about to marry another mega star on stage, they're going to perform this song called Marry Me in front of all their fans, unfortunately, before she goes out on stage, and again, this isn't a spoiler, this is literally within the first 15 seconds of the trailer, she goes on stage, and, and she finds out that her soon-to-be husband isn't too faithful she's on stage she's having a, about to have like a breakdown she looks out in the crowd she sees a, a random person with a marry me sign and that is Owen Wilson's character and he is a math teacher who has a daughter who's recently had a divorce and she says you know what in front of all her fans yes I'll marry you and that is pretty much we're watching the rest of the film to see if this random average Joe is gonna marry and coexist with this mega star so get into my favorite moments and kind of the things that worked for me in this movie First and foremost, Jennifer Lopez. I haven't been following her career since I was literally a kid. Like seeing her from a fly girl and living color, her transitioning into movies, Selena, out of sight, you know, the cell. And she is an OG in my eyes when it comes to rom coms. And she just has the charm. She has the charisma. And again, this isn't a default to her performance in this movie because I feel like this is just essentially her playing out her real life. Because I actually think, in, in a weird way, she's kind of like realizing that she hasn't had the best string of a romances if you all are familiar with her kind of you know outside her personal life she's married some pretty interesting people like her backup dancer producers actors that you just like j-lo you, you could do a lot better than that but either way she pokes a little bit of fun of that in this film and again i'm, I'm just a fan of her work she's been in some stinkers but i i just like her presence on screen and as she plays cat and as you learn the character yes she's a maker star but she has feelings yes there's a camera always following her but she has she's built her own empire again i think this is kind of a self-reflection of her in real life but I enjoyed her performance in this movie and going with her co-lead Owen Wilson he didn't blow me away in this film I'm a big Owen Wilson fan he has his own fair share of rom-coms but I thought the chemistry for the most part was believable because again he's just an average regular guy that teaches math that has a daughter that recently got a divorce and he's trying to coexist with this mega star and they have their kind of compromised things that they have to kind of realize if they're going to be a couple which is something as far as the plot goes I really kind of like how the film shines a light on love is all about compromising. You know, again, she has to compromise with his everyday kind of life. He has to compromise with her being on social media. So I kind of like that give or take that the film kind of shows of what you have to do to coexist with someone that you might see having a future with. So I kind of like that narrative. I like the chemistry and I thought Jennifer Lopez was a star in this film. And also speaking of stars, she is playing this singer in this film, which again, she is a real singer in, in real life, but they have this soundtrack which was fire in my opinion that song marry me i don't know if they're gonna put a soundtrack like an official soundtrack for this film but if it does i can see this being on top charts because marry me was a pretty big kind of a really dope song in my opinion there's a couple other songs like this is one song that she's like talking about take me to church church i'm like this is a banger so i will say for my J Lo, jenny on the block music fans of jennifer lawrence as well as acting fans of jennifer lopez you're gonna enjoy the songs because i certainly did so those are kind of the main
main things that stood out to me. I do have my criticism here now, knowing that this is a romantic comedy, and I just talked about it just the other day in one of my reviews. They have their tropes. They have their kind of cookie cutter. You, you kind of know where things are headed. And this film, for like the first two acts, was kind of switching it up a little bit. Like Jennifer J-Lo was kind of more almost pursuing, you know, Owen Wilson's character versus the other way around. I'm like, oh, this is a little bit different here. But then by the time we get to the third act, which is where my criticism kind of comes in, it just kind of relies on those tropes and is very predictable, which again, I don't put too much fault in rom-coms to be predictable because that's kind of the trope in rom-coms. But it was just a little bit too cookie cutter for my personal taste, as well as some other criticism that kind of come to mind. I found the romantic angle to be a lot stronger than the comedy. I'm going to sound like a broken record because I always say this with comedies. Comedy is very subjective, as we all know. But I have found this film to not be that funny, which is surprising because I find Owen Wilson to be hilarious. And I just found the comedy to be really kind of flat for my taste. And then kind of another thing that comes to mind, tonally speaking, it is a rom-com. And I don't think it's like you know, rated R. I think, you know, people, anyone of any age can see this, but they throw in this kind of family friendly vibe to it, which just kind of, and again, knowing that Owen Wilson has a daughter, you expect the family element to be in the film, but it was almost like it wasn't mixing well for me as far as the tone that the film was trying to give out, which this isn't any fault to the director who, by the way, the director of this film will be directing the She-Hulk series from a Marvel fans. And I thought her direction was okay, but I thought tonally speaking, it just was a little bit wasn't really mixing well for my taste. And then lastly, when it comes to our supporting characters, now a lot of good rom-coms have really good supporting characters, like, you know, the friend that hasn't found anyone or dated anyone for a while, or the, you know, the smart talking friend. And this film has a lot of supporting characters. One, my man from Game of Thrones, Sam, who I, who was the manager of Jennifer uh, character. He was just very stale. Her, you know, her other uh, assistant was stale. And I'm... I'm kind of 50-50 with uh, Sarah, Sarah Silverman. She's in this movie, and again, she is kind of the, the big person that's trying to deliver the jokes, and I think a lot of the jokes fell flat, so I wasn't a big fan of her character. And this is a nitpick. I'm not a big Jimmy Fallon fan. I don't get the appeal of Jimmy Fallon. He's in this movie. Again, this is a Peacock film, which is universal, and, and you know all that stuff. And I personally would have enjoyed if Jimmy Kimmel was in the movie, but hey, that's just a small little nitpick, and that's honestly kind of the main criticism that I have of the film. So before I give you all my overall thoughts, if you haven't already, Make sure to like the video, share the video, leave your thoughts in the comments, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Overall, I'm not going to lie, this film ain't hurting nobody. This is just you know, a throwback to a rom kind of that we used to get in the 90s and the early 2000s. It has a pretty solid message, and again, love is about compromising. It has a really good performance by J-Lo. It has some really fire songs. You know, Owen Wilson does a pretty believable job in his role as this average Joe meeting this superstar. Yes, it has this cookie-cutter type of ending and kind of plays to the predictability of the film and some of those supporting characters I could have went without but overall it ain't gonna hurt nobody I I personally I saw this film I had a screener link so I watched it and come from my own home which I think was the best way for me to kind of take in this film I don't think it's kind of theater type of experience type of worthy but hey I'm not want to tell you how to spend your money but i would say hey if you have peacock if you have uh you're in the mood for a rom-com that just has a fun time then give this film a watch and when you do let me know your thoughts about it overall i'm gonna give this film a three out of five with this movie and again i don't think it's a go to the theater stop what you're doing go to a theater film but if you have peacock give it a watch and let me know your thoughts when you've seen it pros cons your favorite song which mine was marry me in that church song let me know your favorite rom-com in the comments kind of my favorite that comes to mind right now which Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I want to watch this movie because it is Valentine's Day. Hitch, Will Smith, can you make a comeback with rom-coms? Because Hitch is a fire film. If you all haven't seen Hitch, it's a must-watch. But let me know your favorite rom-coms, your pros, your cons, and let's have a discussion about it all in the comment section. If you stuck around to this point in the video, I appreciate you all. Before you leave, make sure to like the video, share the video, leave your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell because we're almost at 20,000 subscribers, and I appreciate every single one of you all. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you're staying safe. As you can see on the screen, now subscribe to my channel check out my other content we'll catch you on the next video